so the major thing is everyone have a dream everyone wants to do something in abroad and everyone you know like they have their own plans so there is always a set of positive things and also there are few uh, hindrances to go there uh, so we will see both so in in, in india what are the higher uh, possibilities why indian uh, you know indian education is also good but the problem is there are few things which not everybody can get, uh, get to those things so one thing is you have uh, very few institutions in india like iit vits you know like these are good institutions uh, but you know like very few you have them and uh, there is a huge competition because of the population everyone wants to get into a good universities so you know like it is not possible for everyone to get because always there is a competition right so if there is an 100 people definitely only the top 10 or top 5 going to make it so that is the bigger problem in india and second thing is uh, everyone wants to get into the top universities so uh, we have very few top universities again so that is one of the criteria and your indian curriculum normally whatever curriculum we are using is already outdated so uh, if you're looking for someone uh, if you're looking for a place where you want to uh, explore yourself more so that exposure it's not here in india so that is the major reason people want to go abroad okay so and what are the advantages you have in abroad so basically you know like you have lot of uh, uh, options uh, in studying in abroad so one thing is the same uh, competitions you also have in abroad but at the same time the number of top universities are more so when you have plenty of top universities uh, if you uh, ranking in the world ranking uh obviously you have better chances to get into a good universities where you get a better uh, coaching and a better education and the technology and research part so when you look into abroad universities the most preparation method is very unique and the tech, the, the, the way you study the things is more of a research oriented so that's the major reason people go for abroad and learn there and the exposure you get a global exposure so this global exposure is basically gives you a very good uh, understanding of about many things at the same time you'll also give uh, you'll also get this uh, uh, you know like uh, experience that is more valid for your career option in the future and the practical learning so when even in india you have the practical option but since the crowd is too much so you have uh, in your classrooms you have so many people so you yourself know like uh, the proper practical time is very less for you uh, wherein you, you the learning process also is limited when you go for abroad the classes the strength of classrooms is will be very less so that you have more of uh, practical uh, sessions so where you can learn more things okay and you have very good uh, uh, part time jobs so when it compared to abroad in india so you'll have very good invest uh, you know like uh, part time jobs where you can Uh, get your uh, investments uh, you know like uh, you can compensate it through a part time job and you have a very good uh, compensation because of uh, payment at the same time you will also get to learn a lot so since you are working with different different culture so you will have that exposure and knowledge which will help you in a very good career option in the future all right so what are some more other things uh, which normally consider to get into universities so uh, stay back options so everyone knows that most of the people you know like their only focus of getting into abroad apart from uh, the quality of education you have a stay back options so whatever you learn you have a platform to uh, you know like practice and uh, prepare and do some internships and get things done so that experience will be very much valid wherever you go even if you come back to india it's going to be a very good valid so that is why stay back option is always uh, you know like uh, will give uh, many countries gives you a wonderful stay back like us gives you 2 years and uh, canada gives you 3 years there are various australia gives you 3 years so very various stay back option after you complete your degree okay and also you get a very good job opportunities uh, so while studying itself you start your internships and you know you have lot of uh, opportunities in abroad so where because the talented they everywhere everywhere in the uh, the countries you know like 
they're looking to talented people and hard working people so you know indians are the best in uh, both talent and hard working so we have a lot of op- opportunities in abroad where you can get a very good jobs and affordability so you are you, you can also afford there are universities and there are countries where at the same time you can affordable and which you can get it back return of investment uh, you know like in a easier easier way within a span of 2 or 3 years okay and then once you got settled you can also bring back your family and you can have your uh, you know like blood relatives and uh, uh, that will be a family presence which you will be considering